So wedding party comprises Mike Felice, Maggie May Haran, Kate Haran, and Nikki Haran, who will do the benediction. This reading is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 13. And Jesus said, what you must do, do quickly. Sound advice. <laughs> Sound advice, which we shall endeavor to follow. <laughs> we had a second slightly longer reading. Okay? This is from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consume, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Ann and Michael themselves live just down the road in Stoke, once home to the anarchist martyr Nicola Sacco of Sacco and Denzetti faith, as well as to Mary Baker Eddy, founder of the First Church of Christ Scientists, also known as Christian Scientists, an illustrious history to be sure. Their own history together began when they met under ill-defined circumstances during the very dark year of 2002 on Anne's birthday, no less. <laughs> At that time, Anne was a lonely resident of Somerville with a fractious dog and an eccentric roommate, <laughs> whom I don't think is here. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was the lonesome suburban father of three cherubic children, who are here. <laughs> Anne spent too much time working and worrying. Michael spent too much time writing long, angry, <laughs> very long and very angry. <laughs> Together they found they could turn away from their computer screens, turn to each other to laugh, lecture, harangue, and laugh some more. They made a home together in 2003, and almost immediately they realized they had absolutely nothing in common. <laughs> but, as the Dao Te Ching says, 10,000 things carry yin and embrace yang. They achieve harmony by combining these forces, but not perfect harmony. More like what the Japanese call wabi-sabi, <laughs> a concept that has been described this way. Wabi-sabi is flea markets, not warehouse stores, aged wood, not pergo, rice paper, not glass. It celebrates cracks and crevices, and all the other marks that time, weather, and loving use leave behind. Through Wabi Sabi, we learn to embrace the response and rust and frayed edges and the march of time they represent. This couple, then, comes together this evening fully aware of each other's splendid imperfection, not <laughs> overlooking the frayed edges, but rather so they thank you for all the beautiful imperfection you brought with you today <laughs> and invite you to join them in celebrating their own very wabi-sabi wedding <laughs> today and till the end, until the end of the day. E.E. Cummings. Since feeling is first, who pays any attention to the syntax of things will never wholly kiss you. Holy to be a fool while spring is in the world, my blood approves, and kisses are a far better fate than wisdom. Lady, I swear by all flowers, don't cry. The best gesture of my brain is less than your eyelids flutter, which says we are for each other. Then laugh, leaning back in my arms, for life's not a paragraph, and death, I think, is no parenthesis. Before proceeding, we'd like to take a moment of silence to recall absent friends and departed family members, the many others without whom none of us would be who we are here today. An old Hindu prayer says that when the one man loves the one woman, 
and the one woman loves the one man. The very angels deserve heaven and sit in that hour and sing for joy. Friends and family, this is that hour. And in my please come forward. By the authority vested in me by the people of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I hereby pronounce you man and wife. Then Michael have asked me to say something here about them and their They've asked me to say something personal and in capital and bold letters, brief. <laughs> so I will do just that. I have known Anne for more than 10 years and can say without reservation that she is true. She represents a truth so fine, so rare, and so simple. She remains true to her convictions. She is truly herself with those she loves truly courageous and genuine in the way she moves through the world. Although I have not known Michael in the way that I have known Anne, I know him through her eyes, and I know through her eyes about this man she promises to love and cherish to the end of their days. I know him to hold her up when she's in need to be a father deeply and passionately concerned about the values and human interactions his children embrace, and to find solace in Anne in ways that will grow the love they feel for each other. Anne and Michael, I extend my congratulations to you and my sincere wishes for a wabi sabi life for the sake of the world. well remains, the rest is dross. What thou lovest well shall not be reft from thee. What thou lovest well is thy true heritage. The ants a centaur in his dragon world. Pull down thy vanity. It is not man made courage, or made order, or made grace. Pull down thy vanity, I say pull down. Learn of the green world what can be thy place, in scaled invention or true artistry. Pull down thy vanity, I say pull down. But to have done instead of not doing, this is not vanity. To have gathered from the air a live tradition, or from a fine old eye the unconquered flame, this is not vanity. Here error is all in the not done, all in the diffidence that faltered. What thou lovest well remains, the rest is dross. What thou lovest well shall not be reft from thee. What thou lovest well is thy true heritage.
Yeah, I'm gonna take a walk. Yeah, dude.